What if I told you that any container in your house could become a life-saving water purifier in just minutes? Whether you're dealing with a natural disaster, camping in the wilderness, or traveling somewhere with questionable water quality, these three methods could literally save your life. I'm going to show you how to turn plastic bottles, tin cans, and even fabric into effective water filtration systems using materials you probably already have. Let's start with the most versatile method, the layered sand and charcoal filter. Take any large container like a plastic bottle or tin can and poke small holes in the bottom. Layer from bottom to top with small stones, coarse sand, fine sand, and activated charcoal if you have it, or crushed burned wood if you don't. Pour your contaminated water slowly through the top and watch as it comes out significantly cleaner at the bottom. This method removes sediment, many bacteria, and some chemicals. The key to this filter's effectiveness lies in understanding each layer's purpose. The stones provide structural support and prevent fine materials from washing away. Coarse sand catches larger particles and debris, while fine sand captures smaller contaminants. Activated charcoal is the star player, absorbing chemicals, toxins, and improving taste and odor. If you don't have activated charcoal, create your own by burning hardwood completely until it's charcoal, then crushing it into small pieces. The smaller the charcoal particles, the more surface area for absorption. Our second method is solar water disinfection, also known as SODIS, and it's incredibly simple. Fill any clear plastic bottle with water, lay it on its side in direct sunlight for at least six hours or two days if it's cloudy. The UV rays from the sun kill harmful bacteria, viruses, and parasites. This method is endorsed by the World Health Organization and is used in developing countries worldwide. SOTUS works through two mechanisms. UVA, radiation directly damages pathogen DNA, while heat from sunlight creates additional stress on microorganisms. Water temperature should reach at least 122 degrees Fahrenheit for optimal results. Clear PET plastic bottles work best because they transmit UV light effectively. Avoid colored or thick plastic containers as they block essential UV rays. This method is particularly valuable because it requires no fuel, electricity, or replacement parts. For our third method, we're creating a cloth pre-filter system. Take any clean fabric like a t-shirt, bandana, or coffee filter and stretch it over the mouth of a container. Slowly pour water through the fabric into another container below. While this won't kill bacteria, bacteria or viruses, it removes visible particles, sediment, and some larger parasites. You can improve this method by using multiple layers of different fabrics. Different fabrics offer varying filtration levels. Tightly woven cotton removes more particles than loose weaves. Coffee filters provide excellent particle removal, but filter slowly. Multiple fabric layers increase effectiveness, but reduce flow rate. Remember, these methods work best when combined. Start with cloth filtration to remove visible particles, then use sand and charcoal charcoal filtration, and finish with solar disinfection for maximum safety. This three-step approach addresses different types of contamination, physical particles, chemical pollutants, and biological pathogens. With just a bit of knowledge and a few household items, you can transform everyday containers into powerful survival tools. Don't wait for an emergency. Practice these techniques now so you're ready when it counts. In true emergency situations, boiling water for at least one minute is still the gold standard for killing all pathogens. At altitudes above 6,500 feet, boil for three minutes due to lower boiling temperatures. Always let boiled water cool before drinking and store in clean containers. Understanding water contamination types helps you choose the right approach. Physical contamination includes dirt, debris, and sediment that cloth and sand filters handle well. Chemical contamination from pesticides, heavy metals, or industrial pollutants requires activated charcoal filtration. Biological contamination includes bacteria, viruses, and parasites that need UV treatment or boiling to eliminate completely. Environmental factors affect purification effectiveness. Cold weather slows SODIS treatment, requiring longer exposure times. High turbidity water needs pre-filtering before solar disinfection works properly. Additional tips for success. Collect water from the cleanest available source, allow muddy water to settle before filtering, and clean your filters regularly by back flushing or replacing materials. Always test these methods with safe water first.